The three classes are high class, low class, and terminal. Now, the terminal class VOR, it doesn't go out very far, or at least not as far as the other ones. So from the surface up and out, it goes to 12,000 feet guaranteed, and it goes out 25 nautical miles. And that guarantee starts at 1,000 feet. So the terminal class would be used definitely for more low-level low, low type flying. And even though they say that it's guaranteed out 25 nautical miles, Usually if you're up higher, you can, it will reach out a little bit farther than that. The low class uh, VOR has a similar shape, but it goes up to 18,000 feet. And it's guaranteed out 40 nautical miles. And then finally the high class has quite a different shape to it. It goes up to uh, 14,5, and then there's a wide area that goes up to 18 and then there's an even wider area that goes up again and then there's one more that goes like this and the range in this area is 130 nautical miles and the range in this area is 100 nautical miles and the range in this area is 40 nautical miles so for our intent and purposes flying down lower the low class and the high class both extend out about 40 nautical miles. So if you were trying to uh, receive between the two, you should have no greater dif difference between two VORs than an 80 mile stretch. Until you get up higher, then you could use the high class VORs. So when you fly later in your career in the jet routes, you're flying predominantly by the high class VORs. And you may ask, well, how do I know what, which VOR is which VOR? Well, that information is given in the, the uh, airport facility directory. If you look at any airport near that VOR station, and you read uh, down below the comments section in the, or the remarks section down in where the uh, nav communication and navigation, navigation is given, uh, you will see that it does tell you what class of VOR this is. Now, the different types of VORs let you know if the VOR works with DME or not. So there's three types of VOR symbols that you would see on the sectional chart. And the first one would just be a plain old VOR symbol that looks something like this. Or you could have a VOR DME symbol that looks like that same shape except there's a box around it. Or you could have a vortex symbol. So the difference in these, this one's just simply a VOR. This one is a VOR with DME capability. And this one is a Vortac, which for our intent and purposes is the exact same thing as a VOR DME. The TAC hand is something that the military uses. We don't, it doesn't pertain to us and we don't use it. But if it is a TAC hand, then it does have the DME capability. And in case you forgot what DME is, um, on your, not all airplanes have it, but if you did have it, on your avionics stack, you have your audio panel, and then typically you'll have COM1 and NAV1, and maybe COM2 and NAV2. And then you may have an additional piece of equipment, and then your transponder. So if you had the DME equipment, the DME reads your time and distance to or from a VOR station. So if you were flying along up here and there was a VOR station down below, and the, the uh, DME will send a signal to and from that station, but it reads in slant range. And slant range, what that means is that it if you were, for example, uh, 6,000 feet directly above the station, then your DME would count down to one mile and then start counting back up again because it reads your distance to and from the station. So if you were in this position, the DME distance might read 1.5, and then as you're directly over it, it would read 1, and then as you fly away, it would read 1.5 again. So it reads slant range. Now, if you're using GPS, GPS reads point to point, 
So it would, a GPS will count down to zero. So just keep in mind that DME is a great piece of equipment. It does show our distance from the station, and if you're flying directly to the station or directly from the station, it will also indicate your ground speed and time. So it's a nice piece of equipment, but you do have to remember that it does read snipe range. So those are your uh, three types of VORs. You can have a VOR, the VOR with DME, or the Vortec, which for our purposes means that it is a VOR that has DME capability also.